Roblox filed its paperwork to go public. The gaming company really joining Airbnb and DoorDash in their efforts to make their public debut before the end of 2020. We want to bring in Ines Foray for a little bit more on this. And Ines, we know at least in terms of for Roblox this year, it's been quite a year for the company. They're one of the pandemic winners, I guess you can say, and it was evident in some of the numbers that were in this release. Most certainly. I mean, Roblox was big business before the pandemic, and it really skyrocketed during the pandemic. I'll get to that user base in a second. But first, let me just tell you what this is. This is a company which provides these 3D uh, games experiences, and it's also a developer platform. It's been dubbed the YouTube of the gaming world. So what they have are developers that create their own games, their own experiences, and they also have creators which create avatars. And for users, they don't have to uh, pay for these games. However, there are uh, in-game experiences that you can buy. So you can buy enhanced experiences, you can buy uh, clothing, you can buy all these virtual products and you do this with this virtual currency called Robux. There's also a subscription uh, service that comes with this Robux currency. And the way that Roblox makes money is that it retains a portion of every Robux transaction and then it distributes the rest to dis developers and to creators. As far as the user base for this, this is so impressive. 31 million daily active users from 180 countries. The majority of the users are on mobile phones. 54% of the users are under the age of 13. In fact, the company says that in the U.S., two-thirds of every 9 to 12-year-old is on the platform. So two-thirds of 9 to 12-year-old kids in the U.S. are using this platform. It's just amazing the uh, growth that they have seen during the pandemic. The company still not profitable, but its revenue has been growing year over year. I'm just looking at the numbers with revenue coming in uh, for the first nine months of this uh, year, 589 million. Uh, and that's a, that's certainly a growth from the year before. It's net loss coming in at 203 million in 2020.